to another video. Today is a little bit different. You'll see why. <laughs> but I also went out thrifting with a few other resellers and a few other online mates. Online mates? A few people from Instagram and YouTube that you will see. You will definitely recognize some. So for me, I am merely a mortal man amongst gods here. <laughs> You'll see that this video is a little bit different because number one, I actually filmed it about three weeks ago. So the footage is not recent. It's from a while back and it's also from across two days. So this video, there's two parts in it. Uh, part one is day one, part two is day two. Um, you'll see who I thrifted with very soon. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. You can find me at Forest Finds Online. Have a look at my Instagram over here. Anyways, consider subscribing if you enjoy what you see today. And if you're already a subscriber, make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That really does help me. Thank you so much for 400 subscribers. I reached 400 subs. I couldn't be more grateful. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Play the intro. So the day started nice and early in the morning with Pat from Osh.Bosh.Finds. Go check out his socials over here. He's a great guy and an even better reseller. Um, I learned so much from this guy. But anyway, we live like in the same area, so it was really easy for us to link up together and go on our adventures. We decided that we wanted to go a bit more out. We've been thinking about this for a while. So a bit more out, more into like the country side, uh, more the rural, less populated area. There's this misconception that, oh, op shops and thrift stores are way cheaper out there. And uh, you can find better things because there's less competition maybe. Uh, today, that was not the case. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert. I actually didn't find too many things. I found a few things which you'll see soon, and uh, he did as well. Yeah, it was a really good day. It was, it was a good drive. It was really nice to go out there and have a look what we found. So the very first stop, I actually only picked up one thing. Um, it was a Stella McCartney women's leggings. I have no idea why I picked this up, so don't at me. I got home and I showed my wife. I'm like, look what I found, pretty cool, huh? And she was like, okay. But um, yeah, I got, that, I got that for $4. I have it listed, I think, for about 20, 25 right now. Uh, in the future, if I see it again, I probably would not get it. Church, country, up shops are not hitting it for me today. But Pat's finding some good stuff. But uh, yeah, I love finding new up shops, ones I've never been to, like this one. It's just fun visiting them. Everyone's friendly. As we pulled up into Warrigal, we actually met up with another reseller. You will know who he is. His name is Uncle Wayne's Flips. Here is his YouTube. Here is his Instagram. Go follow him if you don't already. He actually has a really cool movie channel as well with a bunch of other guys there. I think they do like a live show every Monday. So if you're into movies, go check that out as well. Link is in the description. Anyway, we met at Vinny's in Warrigal with Uncle Wayno, and uh, he straight away, <laughs> he came up to me, he's like, is this any good? It was a vintage Umbro Chelsea jersey, new with tags. So great find over there. But I actually didn't really find anything except one thing. Have a look here what it is. It's a vintage, I think late 80s, early 90s, uh, made in the USA hoodie. I did pay $8, which is not something I normally do. I was surprised it was actually that expensive. Um, it was a large size. It was pretty cool. I like the design, how simple it was. I like the green. Anything green is my favorite. I'm just drawn to green things. And <laughs> but I did end up purchasing it. I am expecting maybe to get about 30 bucks for it. Um, possibly going international to the US because that's where it originally came from. Oh, I'm also holding out this piece of paper. I wrote down a few things that I picked up at, at what op shop um, or thrift store that we went to. There's a lot of extras. That just means I didn't find anything at any of the op shops that we visited, uh, sadly. After Vinny's, we popped into a Red Cross. I didn't pick anything up, but there's this brand called Ridgeline of New Zealand, I think it was, that uh, I've found that a lot more people are actually starting to wear it. Something I like to do when I go out, you know, to the shops or out into the city or whatever, I actually like to look at what people wear. It kind of gives me an idea what the current fashion is like and what brands people are looking for at the moment. And that helps me when I go out to thrift stores um, or where I source other places to see 
what I could pick up to sell. Or and this Ridgeline of New Zealand brand, it's like a hunting brand. I've been seeing a lot of people wear it lately. Like not to hunt, but just for normal fashion. So quite interesting. I think it's been around for a while. A few people have already sold it um, and I've sold it myself. I think actually in my last, not last, the one before that, um, Trip to the Thrift, I actually picked up a Ridgeline of New Zealand, like a camo long sleeve and that sold pretty quick as well. So definitely I'm going to start looking for this in the thrift shop. I kind of regret not grabbing it. It was a bit pricey though, but I think it would have been all right. Ali Seconds Thrift Shop. I think that's what it was called. I love coming here. This is actually one of the first thrift shops I, I went to when I started reselling like properly and serious in 2020. So it was good to be back. He hasn't really changed a bit. I did find probably my best finds of the day here. Have a look what it is. So poking out of the cubicles, I see this, um, this graphic and I know straight away from the head of a dinosaur that it's Jurassic Park. And uh, I've never sold Jurassic Park bedding before. So I picked it up and then I find another one and then um, later on I find another vintage uh, bedding or duna cover which is Aladdin, uh, vintage Disney Aladdin. So I've already sold the Aladdin uh, duna cover, it's over here. I've sold Aladdin twice, I sold it a couple years ago for around the same price. So that's definitely a bowler to keep an eye out for but I don't think it's too common to find it. The Jurassic Park, I do have it listed still, I'm surprised it hasn't had as much interest especially uh yesterday was actually the 30th anniversary of jurassic park so i don't know we'll see but i'm sure i'm pretty confident it will sell sometime soon hit up a few more op shops some of the other guys that picked up a lot of dvds and all that stuff they're into i don't really do dvds or media at all i do have a quick little look but i don't properly research but we went to this other op shop um it was like a recycle center i think it was called and uh i found three Jurassic World dinosaurs. Three for one dollar each. So I paid three dollars for three dinosaurs and I flipped them real quick on Facebook Marketplace or cash. Uh, well, actually not all. I flipped two, so the carnival ones, and there was one herbivore dinosaur that I still have for sale for about 20 bucks. Um, I think I will probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace as well. But yeah, they weren't really quick, so I was really happy to only pay a dollar each. Anyway, the day pretty much ended there for me. We went to a few more thrift stores on the way home. We hit up uh, a Salvas of Vinnie's and a few local ones. I didn't grab anything at all, nothing. There was nothing there for me. Maybe it was just a bad day. It was a Thursday, if I remember correctly. And maybe there was just nothing out there or things have been picked over. But um, Pat did find a few good things. Overall, I had a really good day. Shout out to Pat for driving. And uh, it was good seeing Uncle Wayno. But you know what? I actually see him the next day again. So let's go into part two of this video. Day two. Uh, this was a longer day <laughs> and a bit more successful. So we're up to day two. And today was a day that I met Diary of a Flipper for the first time. In person, face to face. Um, so I've been talking to Brad for a while. He was actually one of the very first YouTubers and Instagrammers reselling related that I've started following and was talking to. So this was a pretty cool day. It was pretty fun. Um, we've been lining this up for a while now. And after like months of back and forth, we finally set on a day and it was this Friday. So if you want to see the video that he filmed with me in it um, and Uncle Wayno as well, go check it out over here, link in the description. It was a really good video and you can see the awesome finds that he picked up. But anyway, I took him on a little tour of my local op shops and thrift stores and this is what we found. Once again, I didn't find anything amazing but there were a few little things that I will show that I picked up and some that I have already sold, which is a bonus. So the first two op shops, we didn't really find anything, or I didn't, I think Brad did. In the third stop, I only got a t-shirt. Uh, it was mainly for Depop. I have it up for 30 or $35 right now. I might even lower the price, but it's like a Native American t-shirt. They usually go all right for me. At the first salvos, I actually picked up another Squishmallow. Now Squishmallows follow me everywhere. They're like attached to me, they're part of my life now. But I did pick up this Squishmallow and I did sell it. So I actually sold like a massive bundle of Squishmallows on Facebook Market. But you can see the video um, on my channel where I picked up like a massive bulk lot. Anyway, this lady, she bought about 20, no, 15 that were left. 
And um, I actually just chucked it in. I'm like, hey, if you want this, I'll chuck it in for an extra 10. And she was like, yeah, all right. So I did sell that particular Squishmallow I picked up in this video for 10 bucks. So it wasn't a big amount of profit, but it was actually part of a bundle. So I'd still make a little bit of money there. Jumping into savers. Always reliable to go to savers. I did pick up a few things here. So I got a country road jumper, which I always pick up. Country road uh, jumpers, like the pullover crew neck ones, always sell women's or men's. Some take longer than others, depending on color, style, and size, but always be on the lookout if the price is right. I also had a little look around. Um, I picked up a few random things, like a Scooby-Doo cup. I have that listed currently. I don't know why I got it. To be honest, I probably wouldn't get these type of items, but I just thought it looked cool. It was like a holographic one. Um, have a look at the listing that I have here. Um, I'm hoping maybe to get about 15 to 20 bucks for it in the end. I also got this plant pot vase thing. I don't know, I'm not good with these things, all right? But I saw it come out in the car and you know, like I said before, I like green. I just saw green and I went for it. I paid $6 minus 20% discount. Um, look, I don't know if I'll end up selling it. It doesn't look like it's getting much interest. It's on eBay right now. If you want it, please take it. Another cool find was actually this, uh, another crew neck pullover. It was Amity Affliction. Did I say that right? Anyway, it was like a band crew neck jumper from 2012, if I remember. I've already sold it. And funny thing is, I saw it and I, I had it up and Uncle Wayne was like, oh yeah, I'll get that if I was you. And it's not something I usually pick up because first of all, it's like, it's like modern. And uh, I think it was a medium, so the size isn't the best. But he's like, yeah, I'll get that. So I got it and thank you because I actually sold it real fast. After the first savers, we headed down to an area where there's three op shops in a row, so convenient. So there's a Salvo's, a Vinny's, and Save the Children. These are the same three op shops that I went to um, a few videos ago with Wayne's Games. And that's where I found that absolute bang of a rip curl vintage jumper. Anyway, I didn't find anything like that today, but I did find a few things. Have a look. So I ended up grabbing only two things from these three op shops. Actually, no, three things. Um, the first two things were a Reese plumbing t-shirt. I hate saying bread and butter, but <laughs> the bread, <laughs> but the bread and butter t-shirts, uh, they always go for about 30 bucks and they were only four, um, I believe from Vinny's that day. So I got them for four bucks each and I, I've sold them maybe like six, seven, eight times already. So yeah, pretty good grabbing those. They're similar to like the Bunnings clothing. They sell pretty fast. I, I don't think they're as good, good as the Bunnings t-shirts and hoodies but they are still good to pick up if they're cheap enough. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I love my plush toys. Some people might even call me the plush king, <laughs> but I picked up a tiny little plush. Have a look at the photo here. It's a tiny little Saddle Club plush toy. Unfortunately, these actually don't sell for much. I only picked it up because it was 15, oh sorry, 50 cents. It was 50 cents. I still have it listed. I'm happy just to like get rid of it for like 10 bucks to be honest. I probably wouldn't get it again. I only got it because it's quite unique and it had the tag still. Moving on to another saver. So this is savers number two for the day and the last one actually. Guess what? I found another Squishmallow. They follow me, I told you they're everywhere. But I didn't even know that this one is actually worth quite a bit. So it's a, it's a platypus one. I forgot the name, have a look at the listing here. But this is actually worth quite a bit. I'm actually expecting to get about 40 bucks for it because it doesn't have the original tag and it's a bit dirty. But still, they're quite desirable. My favorite finds from this savers was two DS games that were loose. I didn't pay too much for them. I think one was $15 and the other one was maybe 10 and I had a, I had a 20% discount as well. Anyway, I did sell the Animal Crossing one. That went pretty fast, but the other one was a Pokemon game. Uh, I'll show you the listing again over here. I still have that for sale, but for that price, it wasn't too bad. I haven't played that one in a long time, so I might even play it uh, before I sell it. I'd just like to mention over here, I'm kind of building a wall of picture frames of just items and nostalgic things from my childhood and things that I resonate with, if that makes sense. I did pick up a Batman Begins movie poster that I haven't put up yet, but I'm gonna put it around here somewhere. Uh, I was really excited to see that. It's one of my favorite movies. It came out in 2005. I was 11 years old then. Once again, Savers providing the goods. Uh, we moved on to Vinny's after, which was like across the road and a Salvo's. I didn't get anything in that Vinny's, but the Salvo's, I did pick up another plush toy. 
It was a Finding Nemo 2002 uh, original Pixar Disney one. These, I think they sold in the US originally. I have sold this one before for about 40 or 45 bucks on Facebook Market. And it's funny because I actually have three. I found three in like a month. I think I'm gonna stop picking these up because I have too many. They take a lot of room. They're about this big. Um, I'll show you a photo of it. But yeah, I should probably get about anything from like 20 to 35, I think. Uh, I'll be happy with that. I also only paid about four bucks for it. And we actually ended the day or this thrift trip at another salvo. This was the final stop. I didn't pick up anything except these Transformers 2009 walkie talkies. Have a look. They look pretty cool. Uh, and they work, which is a bonus. They work. They're not the greatest thing. I did test it. <laughs> I made an Instagram story on it. It was pretty funny. I got my wife to go like to the other end of the house and try use it and it wasn't that good so if you want to see any of that comedy go follow me on Instagram uh, I don't know if you call it comedy anyway go follow me on Instagram there I like to test stuff and even sell things on my stories back to the salvos there I didn't grab anything except that toy and that was it in the end it was a very good day a very good two days actually and now I'll leave you with a bit of footage that uh, Brad took and myself at the end of the day I actually found like a really cool vintage AFL uh, Bulldogs shirt that I gave him, or that I sold to him. He actually gifted me a 90s Carlton Blues, which is my favorite team by the way in the AFL, uh, a poster, like a hardwood poster. So I'm gonna find a spot for that somewhere. You also see that I did pick up a few wrestling plush toys for him. Uh, if you wanna know more about that and look at more of that footage, go to his channel, go to that video where he talks a bit about it more. Huge shout out and thank you to the boys that came on. I love meeting up with other people, it's just more fun. I find it fun when I actually have someone to talk to, not just the camera. It was a good day, it was a fun day, and I'm definitely on the lookout to thrift and go more adventures with other resellers. There's already a few lined up, so you'll definitely see those videos come out very, very soon. Before I sign off, I just want to leave you with a little message. Reselling can be often quite lonely. It can be quite isolating, especially when you go out thrifting or sourcing by yourself. So I want to encourage you to reach out to those other YouTubers or even Instagrammers. Uh, if there's anyone you've been talking to for a while, reach out. If they're in your area, maybe ask you for a little thrift, grab a coffee or something. I think it's really rewarding when you meet up with other people, you learn a lot and you just have a great time. This is the yeah, first yeah. of many though. I reckon yeah, I'm gonna come down your way. Yeah, let's do next it. Next time. Part two. Part two coming Part soon. Two. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.